One of the jobs of a leader is to define reality. And a leader has to have a hard, cold look at what's the current situation of the team you're leading or the task you're called to. Especially when you're leading a church or leading a ministry within the church. You have to define the reality. Is what we're doing of God? Has this ministry reached a shelf life that needs to to be sidelined and something else needs to emerge? We have to constantly be evaluating. Are we being successful in what we're saying we're doing? Are we measuring things by life change or by budgets and numbers? Are they doing what we say is in keeping with our philosophy? Are we doing what says that's keeping with our denomination or our tradition? But a leader has to have a firm grip on reality. Now, let me say this too, okay? If you are fuzzy in your direction, your people are confused, and if they're confused, they're chaotic. So you have to have the ability as a leader to define reality. You say, well, Scott, I don't really know what's real, what is reality. Then move up the leadership pipeline. Move up the leadership pipeline to find out who that's the leader of me, understands, and go to the place you can finally have clarity. And, and that's so important. I know this as, a, as the leader of, of our church. Of course, Jesus is the leader. He's the senior pastor. I'm just the lead pastor. That I have to be sure that we're in tune with Jesus, and I do that in four aspects, through his word, through prayer, through circumstances, and through other believers. To define reality and find clarity, they give clarity away. Now, here's some things that I've, that'll help you. Over-inform people because people are down on what they're not up on. No secrets, no worries. Tell them what's going on. And then also, it says this in, in Acts, to, to have a close watch over your flock. See how they're doing relationally, spiritually, physically, and, and, and make sure the, the condition of the people that you're leading. But always, leaders, you have need to have a firm grasp on what's real, not what's perceived. Now, one of the things I've learned about leading people is that when there's division happening, when there becomes divisiveness, there's a phenomenon called myth-making. That people in a divisive culture will come over to the side, form a support group where they will create an unrealistic myth about reality, and that myth becomes truth. And that's how our nation right now is so politically divided because of the camps of myth-making. Instead of dealing with what's real, they've come up with a I've been done wrong support group and they're feeding off the ignorance of each other in a myth-making quadrant. That's why a leader has to define reality. And, and that's your job as a leader. Now, if, you don't, if you're not clear, then you go up the ladder, up the chain, or down the chain, whichever you want to look at it, and get clarity and get clarity and get clarity. And if you're not clear, just wait and God will clear it up. So... I hope that helps you, that a leader has to define reality. Now, it's found in Luke chapter 9, verse 21, that, uh, that Jesus defined that for his disciples. You can read that passage, and I think it will give you more insight. But that's what a leader does, is defines reality.